And there are many different Switch emulators out there, but today I'm going to show you how to set up one of my favorites called Ryubi, created by GreamDev, which is a fork of Ryujinx that makes it better. I'll be showing you how to set up games with updates and DLC, how to install keys and firmware, the important settings, and even how to play game mods. This emulator also has multiplayer options, which is really cool. This will work on Windows, Mac, or Linux, and of course, I have to be careful about what I show you to avoid this video being taken down, but we won't be doing anything illegal in this video, so let's get started. In the description of the video I'll have a link for this website where you can get the download for all four options here but I'm also gonna have this link as well to give you guys multiple options and if for some reason these are no longer viable we all know that's a possibility with switch emulators I'll have a backup link in the description as well and before we move forward, in order to use this emulator, it's recommended to have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. And if you're not sure of what your computer has, just go to your Windows hotbar here, type about, and it will open up the page where it'll show you what you're running. So this will give you a little outlook on what your experience might be on this emulator. But now let's get with the download. If you're on this page, just find your OS system, mine's Windows, just click the download. Or if you're on this other page, you can find that same download right here. Current version is 1.3.2, but if it's a newer version, setup should be the same. So go ahead and grab that download. You do need an extraction software. I use 7-zip to extract this file. But once that's downloaded, you can minimize your screen, open up your file explorer, go to your downloads, and here is the emulator. As I mentioned, it's a zip file, so we're gonna go into it. And here, the publish folder, that is what we want. So you can technically place this wherever you want on your computer. I personally have a hard drive with all my emulation stuff on it, so I'm gonna open that up. Conveniently called Smash Like, so I'll put that over there. And I have all my emulators in my emulator folder, but again, you can place this on your desktop, on in your download, like it doesn't matter. But wherever you're gonna place it, grab the publish folder and drag it there and it's transferred over. You can back out and you can delete the zip file. You don't need that anymore. So now if you go inside of the publish folder, here is the actual emulator itself. But before we run it, I'm gonna show you guys a trick. So instead of going into this folder every time to run it, right click on the file, show more options, and then go down to create shortcut. Now we can place this wherever we want. So I'm going to cut it and I'm just gonna place it on the root of my hard drive. Keeps everything organized, rename, make it just Ryujinx or Ryubin. They're almost interchangeable at this point, but there you go. You now have a shortcut to your emulator. Let's run it. Double click, the console will run, and then the emulator will load. Of course, it opened on my other monitor. <laughs> if you're running this for the first time, it will give you a prompt that your keys are not installed. So that is the first thing we have to do. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you my hard drive and how I have everything set up. I have all my games and files in here. I have my keys and firmware in this file here. This is what you need. It has to be a zip. This is just the latest version I've backed up from my Switch, that, so that's why I have 18. And I will say, if it is a newer version, it might not be quite as compatible as older versions. So if things don't work, you can try getting an older version. And if you're wondering where to get them, I unfortunately can't tell you in the video, but honestly, it's really not that hard. And if you're really struggling on your own, you can check the pinned comment as well. But those are the files you need, and now we're gonna install them. So if you have that prompt, just press OK. Go up to Actions, Install Keys, Install Keys from Keys or Zip, and then navigate to where your files are, and then select prod.keys. Open, just press Yes for the confirmation, and successfully installed. Press OK. If you're wondering what the keys are, those are what decrypt the games. It's absolutely necessary if you want your games to show up and work. But now that we have their keys done, go up to Actions, and we're gonna install the firmware now. So same thing, install from XEI or Zip, and click the Zip file, press Open. It'll give you a confirmation, press Yes. I've already installed these, so my prompts might look slightly different, but it's the exact same steps. Press Yes, firmware installed, press OK. So we got our keys, firmware, we're ready to add our games. So I'll quickly show you my games are all in this folder. They are either NSP or XCI. So they do have to be that file format. This is the touchy subject. If you're really struggling, you can check the pin comment. So that's what my game folder looks like. Let's get them in Ryubing. So go to options, settings, and under game directories, we're gonna click add. Just select the folder that they're all in and press select. Make sure it's in there. Press apply. We now have our games. 
If you want a couple tricks, you can change your icons to these, which is pretty sweet. Change the icon sizes if you have tons and tons of games. So games are ready, but what about updates and DLC? We're gonna do the exact same thing. So go to options, settings, and auto load DLC and updates. So you can have all your DLC and updates in one folder and do the same thing we did for the game. So press add. I have all mine in NX updates DLC, but just select whatever folder you have yours in. They should show up there, click apply and okay. And then you should see the latest version. And a great thing about Reubing, it gives you a little synopsis of if it's playable or not, or if it has any bugs. If you wanna change updates, you can right click on the game go to manage title updates, and then you can choose which version you wanna play with. And then for DLC, you can also manage those by right clicking the game, go to manage DLC, and you can turn DLC on or off, click save, and you'll be good to go there. Quickly, I'll show you, if you go to options, manage user profiles, you can create your very own profile instead of just being a generic one. But I will say that your save data is linked to your profile. So if you delete it, you'll lose your save data. I just wanna tell you guys that before, before you accidentally lose hours of game time. This is also where you access your save files as well. But you can make as many as you want. Boom, subscribe. Now before you go and hop into your games, you need a controller, so let's go set that up. Go into your options, settings, go over to input, and here's where you set up all of your controllers. So you can use any controller that you can plug in or connect to your PC, or you can just use a keyboard. So go and connect your controller and then go into input device. I have my MobiPad Switch Pro controller. It's coming up as Xbox 360. I mean, it doesn't really matter what it's called as long as it works. So I'll do the toggles here and it works. If you wanna map your controller to have different buttons, all you have to do is click the button on the computer and then click the button on the controller. So I just changed that mapping but it should be set to default, so that's just if you want any changes. And then if you're playing a game where you don't wanna use a pro controller, you can change the type here, change it to Joy-Con pair, Joy-Con left, Joy-Con right, but I feel like most games you'd use pro controller. And you can actually connect your Joy-Cons to your computer as well, which is really awesome, especially for games like Jamboree. And then you can go to player two if you're gonna play with someone else, make sure you save the current ones. But that's controller setup. Since we're still in the settings, if you want a different theme, you can go to user interface, Go to dark, you can change it to light or dark, same options as Nintendo with their consoles. If you go to hotkeys, you can change all sorts of stuff here to whatever you want. Skipping over to graphics, there shouldn't be too many settings you have to change because Ryubing tries to optimize it on load. But for graphics backend, Vulkan is gonna give you a much better experience compared to OpenGL. So if your computer can handle it, I suggest doing Vulkan. Preferred GPU, if you have a dedicated GPU, it should come up here. Definitely use that, that'll improve your gameplay a lot. You can actually change your resolution scale. You can go up to four times. It's not recommended, but it's possible. I'm pretty happy with 1080p. And if you're wondering why there is two different numbers, 720 is for handheld mode and 1080 is for docked mode. You should already be in docked mode, but if you're not, you can go back to input and it should say right here. Just make sure that's checked. You'll get the better resolution. And there's a really cool feature. If you hover over the setting, it'll tell you everything you need to know about it. You can have anti-aliasing as this option as it'll improve the picture. Scaling filter, make sure it's bilinear. And if you change any of these and your games do not play well, you can reset your settings and try to figure out what your computer can handle and the best options for you because every system is different. Here in the network tab, there is an option to play multiplayer. I'm not gonna go in depth because it can be quite complicated, but I will have a link in the description for the actual page telling you all about it. But once you have all those settings done, Press apply, okay. So now you're pretty much all set up and ready to go, but if you're interested, I'll show you how to play mods as well. So I have a couple mods for Jamboree. If you're wondering where to get mods, if you just type game banana and the game, it should come up here for the game banana website, and then you can explore all sorts of different mods created by the community. I already have a few, so I'll show you the file type it should be. Here's how your mods should be organized. They should have mod name. That way you won't get confused. Some mod downloads come with this. Some you just make a folder with the mod name. So Funky Kong for Jamboree. Inside is a ROM FS folder. That is the important file. That's really all you need. Some other mods, they will have EXEFS and ROM FS. As long as you have one of those, it should play. But once you have them set up that way, right click on the game, go to open mods directory. And then here you can place that folder inside. So all your mods for that specific game in their folders, place them into the directory we opened up and exit and then right click 
Go to manage mods and you should see those mods as options. You can turn them on or off and then click save. You can also add mods directly from here. You can click add and then go and select the folder. Fast on board, now there's two. If your games don't start and you have mods enabled, you can try disabling them and see if that is the issue. But that is how you set up mods to play in your Switch games. So click save. And one last trick, if you're wondering about compatibility for a game you don't have yet, you can go to help, open compatibility list, untick this one, and it'll show you all games where you can search New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe is playable and it can give you all that information which is very useful. And all you gotta do is double click the game and you'll be good to go. I'd love to show you gameplay but Nintendo uses that as an excuse to take videos down so sorry. But thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you make sure to hit that like button and comment down below what your favorite Switch game is. Mine is currently It Takes Two. My wife and I are playing it. It's a lot of fun. But I hope you have fun playing your Switch games and I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>